Hello everyone. Welcome back to the course of finite state machines. This video is brought to you by Newton's group of institutions, Macharla. This is Arvind Egredi from the Department of Computer Science and Engineering. And in this video, we are going to construct a DFA over the alphabet AB having the substring AAA. So first we have to design the skeleton string with minimum criteria AAA. Hence, AAA is a substring of itself. So we should try to accept the string that is like this. And uh, it should be accepted. Then the last state must uh, be with an double circle. So here to accept this particular string, the last state here should be having the double circle. Now consider an example B triple A, whether it should be accepted or not. Yes, it can be accepted. Since uh, triple A is the substring of the whole substring B triple A. Now consider another example, double B triple A. Again, it can be accepted. Yes, it can be accepted. Again, since we have triple A as a substring. So triple B triple A, this can also be accepted. And uh, since the substring uh, triple A exists. Now, 4S triple A, this string is also accepted since we have triple A as a substring. So, any number of these in the beginning and ending with the triple A, all these kinds of strings must be accepted. For that, what we must have? So, we need to call for an self loop here on the first state. So, here with the input B. Now, consider another example with the triple A B. So, here B is coming at the end, triple A B. Whether it should be accepted into our DFA or not? Of course, yes, since AAA is again here a substring. So this can be accepted. AAA double B can be accepted. Okay. And AAA triple B can be accepted. AAA four Bs can also be accepted. So here we need to put the self loop again here on the state four. So here on the state four, we, we can have a self loop with the input symbol B. Now consider another example, triple A, A, whether it can be accepted or not. Yes, it has to be accepted. And triple A, double A is accepted, triple A, triple A can be accepted and so on. So how can we put the self loop on the last state? So here we need to have the self loop on the last. So here to have triple A A or triple A double A or triple A triple A or triple A any number of A's, we can have the self loop on the last state. Now let us see whether we have all the inputs on all the states or not. So here we have to see whether this is an DFA or not. So for state one, we have A and we have B. And for state 2, we have just defined the input symbol A, but not a B. So as of now, we cannot call this as an deterministic finite automata, DFA. So let us suppose a string AB triple A. Will it be accepted or not? Yes, it has to be accepted. So for that, what we have to do? We need to design like this. So from state A, no 
now we have both the inputs a and b which are being defined now go to the state number 3 so at state number 3 here we have defined a and not b now suppose consider the string wa b triple a whether it should be accepted or not yes because we have triple a so think about this kind of design to get double a b triple a so double a a a again b triple a okay so think we need to consider this design now for state number 3 we have defined both the inputs a and b so now let us move to the state 4 on state 4 we have defined all the inputs uh, a and b so this is the dfa which is having the skeleton of a uh, substring sir triple a now let us consider this example ab triple a so ab triple a can it be accepted or not so here a b triple a accepted now A B B A A A B B A A A Yes, we are into the final state, so this is accepted. A B A B A A A A B A B A A A So this is also accepted. Now coming to A B B B A A A A B B B A A A. So this is also accepted. Now consider another example here. Double A B triple A. So double A B triple A, which is accepted. Yes, it can be accepted. Double A double B triple A. Double A A B B. triple a which is also accepted now take this example double a b a b triple a so double a b a b triple a which is also accepted so this is the language or the this is the state machine what we can define so a a triple b triple a so a a triple b 1 b 2b 3b again triple a so this string is also accepted so here this is the dfa which is having the skeleton of a substring sir triple a now let us construct a dfa which accepts the language sigma is equal to ab that has neither double a or double b as substring so if you can see the question clearly there is a twist in the question if you can see the word neither so here the word neither which means that a a or b b never should be side by side if the same question if it is either a a or b b then the string can have a a, a, a or b b as a substrings so here in this particular case since we get a neither here given so our language l will be equal to set of all strings that uh, neither have a a or b b as substrings if i write the language it will be a b a b b a a b a b a b a b a b b a b a a b a b a b B A B A B A so on. So never no two A's or no two B's come side by side. This is the language for which we we have to construct a state machine. Now let us design a criteria for the minimal skeleton that accepts A and B B as a substring. Suppose we start at the state Q naught. and with input a we go to state q1 and uh, with input b we go to the state uh, q2 now from state q1 with input a let us go to the final state q3 
so our now so now our criteria double a as substring is been satisfied and from q2 with input b let us go to one more final state q4 so our criteria double b as substring is also satisfied as of now we cannot call this as an dfa so on state q0 we have both a and p inputs which are been defined but uh, in the state q1 we have defined the state a but not uh, b as input we have defined a as input but we have not defined b as input so with input b let us suppose that it goes to q2 so here we have started at state q0 a now b b so it has the b b as a substring okay so now the criteria is satisfied with the final state now state q2 we have just defined the b and we have not defined a as input so with input a let us go to state q1 so that the substring a a criteria is satisfied with the final state that is from q0 we have come to b a a okay now coming to the state q3 nor a and b are not defined but if you draw a loop with a and b as inputs then also your condition a as substrings get uh, satisfied and similarly now on state q4 also if we take a loop with a or b as inputs then our criteria b b as substring gets satisfied so here now this is the dfa we have five states now we can make this minimal which satisfies the same grammar with the four states like this so the same we can draw with the four states and which satisfies the same grammar now in this dfa we have five states and now we can make this minimal which satisfies the same grammar with the four states like uh, the so shown which on the right side so this is our the this is our minimal dfa with the uh, four states so now let us see the question so this is not the solution to our question in our question we must not have either a or b b as substrings so i have to make a machine which satisfies the language uh, like this a b a b b a a b a b a b a b a b b a b a a b a b a b b a b a b a so now just by doing the minor modifications to the dfa we can construct a machine with neither a a nor b b as a substring so for that what we need to do we need to convert the final states as the normal states and uh, normal states as the final states that is like this so we have to convert the normal states as final states and final states as the normal states so our string with neither a a or b b substring is uh, ready so this is the solution to make the machine with uh, neither a a or b b as a substring thank you everyone for listening with patience so if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for the latest notifications thank you one and all